Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another beer review here on the channel. Today I'm taking a look at one from Harpoon Brewery. It is done with Dunkin' Donuts. It is the Dunkin' Summer Coffee Pale Ale. So they actually use Dunkin's original coffee for the making of the pale ale here. If it is your first time to the channel, if you like what you see, remember to hit that like button, of course. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more of the videos, hit that subscribe button as well. That all being said, let's get into the beer. So this one actually comes in with an ABV of 5%, 44 IBU. There's a look at the can again. Has that Dunkin' Donut look to it with the Dunkin' Colors. Easily classifying it as Dunkin' Donuts, of course. On the bottom, they do have a date as well. So always want to have dates on the cans or the bottles best for the consumer to know what they're exactly buying so uh, thanks for doing that harpoon on the can it says love beer love life and let's get it into a glass so Duncan has had uh, well I should say harpoon has had these beers with Duncan I think this might be the second one they've done something with them so it's looking forward to finally getting one of these and seeing how it actually tastes growing up in the Northeast a big fan of Dunkin Donuts I mean I guess now they're across the country but you know people in the Northeast are so used to having Dunkin Donuts up there that uh, it's just good stuff so the fact that they're using some of their coffee which they do have great coffee blends as well in a beer for me, originally from New Jersey, it was automatic for me to pick this baby up. So we get into the glass. Now the head didn't come out as much. It came out with about a half finger. It's about a quarter finger right now. So not too much of the head. Beer itself on the color, you have a little bit of a haziness on there, more of a chill haze, but you have that golden orange amber color that you associate with this beer. Not seeing much of the carbonation into it. And that's part because of the haze. Aroma wise, I do pick up a good whiff of the coffee. You get that sense of kind of like ground coffee, but I do pick up on the back end some of the hoppiness that they use from the hops. I do pick up some notes of a tropical and citrus note. So it's almost kind of a weird feel with that coffee and a tropical and citrus kind of contrasting each other. And it should be uh, interesting to taste. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that. Taste wise, the first thing I actually notice is the uh, bitterness. I notice the scratchiness in the throat from the hops. A little bit of a flavor in the mouth, but not much. You do detect the coffee in the taste, that little coffee bitterness that's in play. Getting more of the hops on the aroma than I did in the taste. Not having much of a mouthfeel quality is kind of uh there but at the same point not there it's kind of not really doing too much along those lines but it's not a bad taste of the beer at all get a nice sting there to the tip of the tongue you can feel some of the carbonation in play as well body wise you're definitely looking at a nice light to medium body second time in i get a little bit more of a hot burst there where I am starting to pick that up a little bit more. Something a little bit more unique, and I'm a big fan of coffee. Um, I do like a lot of the bitter beers, but together it's just a, it's something different about it. It's kind of a, a unique type one. I'm not sure everybody can actually dig into this one. I think it's got kind of maybe a uh, feel of it that it's only gonna hit maybe, or maybe appeal to certain people um, that really like kind of that coffee and hop type bitterness maybe not together though it's kind of weird how to phrase that but uh it is something different i'm glad i definitely picked it up to give it a try because i do like to try things that are different and unique and uh, this one does have a uniqueness about it not anything bad with the aftertaste and play either it does go down rather easily on the back end uh, the big thing will be how people actually like that coffee and hot bitterness once again but it is what it is there's not much more for me to really say about this one harpoon is one i don't get a lot of their beers i used to back in the day but with so many other ones now they're kind of a hit and miss type brewery for me to be honest so it's not something i usually will go after when i see them pop up with this but the duncan name is what actually drove me to this one because like i said 
grew up a big Duncan type fan, so I wanted to see how I actually pulled this together. As far as the rating on this one, for me overall, this is going to be a uh, a 3.25 out of 5. It's got a, a decent feel, and I give them points for bringing something together like this, like I said, but uh, it's not doing enough for me to want to drive you know, out there and maybe get more. It's, it's, it's good, but it's not great. It's, uh, it is what it is, so I'm not going to really go any more deeper into that. If you've had this one, let me know what you think about it, what your feelings were on it, if you dug it, if you didn't dig it, if you thought it was uh, just okay. That again, Harpoon, Duncan Summer Ale. Thanks for watching. Keep drinking those good craft beers out there. I look forward to catching you guys next time. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better come.